um, a graffiti artist. We are painting a mural, as you can see behind, where we're trying to create uh, awareness. Where, where that's the key word. Lead is something that should not be taken lightly. Lead is poisonous. The child can inhale, they can eat, so they get exposed. You find their IQ, their nervous system, their kidney. The symptoms are really varied. There are no safe levels of lead. Since it's been banned so long in the US, in Europe and so on, people assume that it was banned and just eliminated from Asia, Africa as well. And we, we really need to de detoxify the environment. Environmental pollution actually uh, causes nearly a quarter of the global burden of disease and 33% for children. So unless the planet is healthy, we're all going to be sick, including our children. UNEP and World Health Organization also, we formed, of course, Global Alliance to eliminate lead in paint. We are, all of us are really coming so that we can support this, including even the industries. I think the challenges right now is awareness. I think that when countries uh, recognize how easy it is to uh, address the problem, will help countries uh, to join us in the alliance to eliminate lead and paint by 2020. What we have seen that is that in every single country where we have analyzed paints, and there is no regulation in that country to restrict the use of lead in paint, you will find paint with high levels of lead. It's very important before to use to read the label. It is our obligation as, as consumers to be informed. It is, it is our obligation as environmental specialists to make a legal base and uh, to make restrictions. Regulations are the ones, the instruments that, that can also limit the production and also uh, dissemination of uh, lead in paints. Globally, we see many countries who have not adopted laws and that's why we're trying to work with countries because it's a very solvable problem. It's not a costly thing. It's been banned in many Western countries for 40 years at least. Um, so you have cost-effective alternatives. As long as you raise awareness and you reach out to paint manufacturers, policymakers and work together, uh, then you can make quick change in a country. Miro is, is beautiful and it tells a story of obviously uh, the pollution that is caused from lead and the hope that, that we can have in terms of the future of our children if we adopt uh, laws to ban lead and paint.